All right, we're back uh, with another episode of the Scotty No Show. I think I said in my previous interview that it was episode 38. I think it's actually 39. I think it um, is 39. Yeah. Good Lord, we've almost done this almost a full year. That's insane. Dang right, man. Um, Ian is back. Uh, third straight week in the same location, setting a record unprecedented baby um how you doing buddy i'm good i'm i'm tired it's it's been a busy time of year here oh yeah i'm sure uh before we start we must uh send a congratulations to a friend of the program uh chad johnson on getting inducted into the dwu hall of fame yeah the dwu uh athletic hall of fame man that's a huge honor would have loved to be there just got Same. St- stuck stuck in the in the moving process but um yeah big congrats couldn't have happened to anyone better and his speech is is just fantastic oh my god that was fantastic the whole it it, it was it was awesome the the the, the kid with supermodel looks or whatever it was yeah. i was like goodness. he had a lot of a lot of good good one liners and oh yeah. yeah that guy Funny, you know, caring, genuine. Can't say enough good things about the dude. Yep. Um, so our first topic of the night, um, it's official. Britney Spears is freed. It's official. The court uh, decided today she's free for the first time in 13 years. Well, you know, that's that's good. It's about damn time. Yep. Um. Nothing more we need to say about that. We, I we guess talked not. about that. Yeah. Yep. Um, Dog the bounty hunter is in the news. He, is he? he is, yes, he is searching for the boyfriend of uh, Gabby Petito. I think his name is something Laundry. Tom Brian Landry. Laundry. Oh, oh Bri- yeah. <laughs> Brian Laundry or something like that. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a weird. That's a weird story. Yeah, I don't know much about it at all because i it's not something that i pay attention to at all sure we're working for the park service that's been uh a pretty pretty big headline here oh it is okay oh yeah so that's you're not far from wyoming so no i'm i'm quite close and there's not that many national parks when you think about it and i i guess this isn't really the first time this has happened it's just the first time it's been getting real media coverage yep so yeah, I, I I don't know where that guy is. Yeah, and and to those and I've seen it, to those that are wondering why this is being covered and not like all the hundreds of other, you know, things being covered, uh, stop that. Uh, all right, it's not a dick measuring contest with tragedies. Stop that shit. Hmm. Hmm. Help. Uh, MLB talk. Are you ready to talk about your Cardinals? I am. Um, I mean, where can you start? How about going 17 and O? Um, uh, you they mean did just lose tonight to the Brewers, which I, honestly, dude, I'm glad. Um, you get, I think there was enough pressure on them to get into the playoffs, and then it slowly shifted into such a big streak. And then, like, if they won out, they could have tied it, and it's like. I would much rather have a successful postseason than the streak. And, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, and essentially, I mean, it's not over yet, but we know who most of the teams in the NL yeah. are going to be. So Is, do the playoffs start next week? Um, yes, I believe they do. Okay. And so that, uh, do you want to talk about that at all? A little bit. A little I would bit, love, uh, I, I mean, the, baseball is like my other sport that I follow. Yeah. So, um i think it's it's really exciting uh you know the cardinals being hot right now if they can they don't have to win out but if they have i mean if they go 500 that's a hot team playing yep. either the dodgers or the giants in a one game series Ooh. in a one game series scotty yeah normally that's not close but in this instance it might be 
I'm just I'm just glad it's not us in the uh, one game playoff because the last time that happened, uh, the Nationals end up winning the World Series. Well, you blew it. I know you we blew did. that game. Yeah, I, I watched that one. Brewers blew that. That yeah, that was theirs, like three times over. You want to talk about blowing it? Uh, Devin Williams of the Brewers, after they clinched the NL Central, celebrated by punching a wall and breaking his hand. He's out for the year. <laughs> like, what an idiot, right? <laughs> like, how can you be so stupid? And like, he got angry, is what I read on the headline. He got angry and punched a wall. It's like, what are yeah. you angry about? Aren't you celebrating? Yeah. Uh, um. What an idiot. That that's that's like uh. I forget who it was. I, it might have been like Esteban Loiza or somebody like that way back in the day that got injured playing Guitar Hero. Yeah, and he was a pitcher. Like he yeah. like had a stress fracture in his one of I think his ring finger. Yeah. Or maybe his index, but he couldn't throw. But that's I mean, I playing Guitar Hero, I played a lot of Guitar Hero. Same. I've never injured myself yeah. in my knowledge playing Guitar Hero. Punching a wall, it feels like. If you're a pitcher, that's a bad idea. Yeah. Um, I don't know uh, if it's happening or not, but uh, there's a team that's one game out of the AL uh, wildcard race. Do you know who that is? Is it the Red Sox? No, it's for the first time since 2001. It's the lovable losers that are the Seattle Mariners. Wait, how did you phrase this question? The, they're the lovable losers. They're one game out oh, of the they, wild card. I thought you meant they're out, but yeah, yeah. they're they're right out. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they are. Um, I don't. They're not gonna get in. I'm sorry, dude. I know, I know. But I mean, it'd be the first time since 2001. That would be awesome. Now I was watching it earlier, but I left. Do you know what the status is on those? east games are those al east games right now i don't okay i mean i can pull it up but i mean those are the likely the teams that are going to be slugging it out yeah oh it would be the uh so the uh, yankees were losing to the blue jays last i knew last i checked it was uh yankees and red sox oh yeah for that yeah but i mean this is this is a close race so every I mean, every game counts, and right now the Blue Jays are playing the Yankees. So, okay. Um, you know who Chris DeStefano is? Uh, yeah, he's the guy from. Is it was it was it Bro Code? Yes, that he was from. Okay, so now he, a comedian or something. Yeah, he was. Uh, he threw out the first pitch at a. Uh, you know, because we were talking about first pitches last week. We we sure were. Uh, he threw out the first pitch at the Mets game uh, the other night, and uh, you know it was it was a good first pitch. Um, but when he when uh, a friend of his asked him why he didn't throw from from the mound, he's like, "You know, I've never used the rubber before." <laughs> All right, dude. Cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. I guess. Uh, I, I, I laughed way too hard when I saw that tweet today. Uh, that's, I mean, yeah, that's certainly, uh, that's certainly a thing you could say after being on the national spotlight. Yep. Uh, s- some good news. Mark Hoppus is cancer free. That is good news. That is good news. I, you know, I only found out that he had cancer a couple months ago. Yep. Um, so that that's really good to hear. Did you see the Manning cast this week? I did not. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Eli flipped uh, the birds. I did see that. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> well, you know, what are, what are your thoughts on that? So you know, Peyton is known for like being the funny one, but Eli is so like quick witted against mm-hmm. his brother. Like, and it's like. I forgot how much I liked Eli. Yeah. When when he, they knocked off the Patriots, that was start like in the Super Bowl back in like, oh, I don't know what year was that. The first one. Yeah. Uh, two thousand seven. Okay. Um, it's the 07 was, season. Oh wait. Yeah. Super so that was when he was like getting some media. He started kind of getting some, you know, FaceTime with him, yeah. and 
but then he not then he couldn't complete any passes as he got older and then he retired and now it's like okay i forgot how funny this guy is too so i'm uh i'm all for it i think more manning casts uh forever um fortunately not for another three weeks screw you espn for that um damn uh, it i know um the uh chicago bears uh, but the uh, property in Arlington Park looks like they might be moving. Possibly. Mm-hmm. Do you, I mean, do you really think that they will? Yeah. Yeah. You so soldier, soldier Field is ancient. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was built in like 1920. And oh, they dang. Just, I, and I don't think they want to, uh, I don't think they want to, uh, do any upgrades to it like you know green bay has to lambeau field so what are they going to do with it uh i don't know sure um probably i i saw a meme today that it was uh it was soldier field and it was like damn spirit halloween ain't messing around and it was like a spirit <laughs> halloween <laughs> store <laughs> now i do like that idea i love I do that too. idea I do too. Um, Richard Sherman signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this week, and Josh Gordon signed with the uh, Chiefs. What are your uh, thoughts on either of the either of these moves? Um, the Chiefs are getting desperate. Yeah, they're they're at the bottom of the division. It's early in the season. All the teams are you know pretty good, you know on paper anyway, as if you look at records, um, the chiefs haven't lost to nobody's. Yeah. I mean, it's the, their losses have been close. Um, so I like, if I'm a chiefs fan, I'm not freaking out yet. No. Cause as you were stating earlier, I believe the Broncos have beat three teams that have combined for. Oh, and nine. Oh, and nine this season. But then mm-hmm. like, over the last like two or three years, it's like an appalling um, number of, of wins. Uh, last um, season, last season, it was combined nine and 39 record. Yep. Yeah, so there you go. Um, and as far as Sherman goes, like, you know, isn't he facing legal trouble? I, I don't remember if he was or not. So but... There was that weird moment where it's like, he had to be like arrested because there was like video of him trying to get after his like ex-wife or something like that. I know it's something domestic, but yeah. Um, I, I don't know if anything ever came of that. So many things are not these days. Um, you know, I don't, I didn't hate Tampa last year, but no. the way that they spend, I mean, it's like they're becoming the Yankees. Yep, I was just and they've and they've been good for a year. And the thing is, is that um, you know, given Richard Sherman's uh, past history, him and Antonio Brown are gonna fit in perfectly. Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, you, you do have to wonder though, uh, if Richard Sherman and Tom Brady have squashed their beef yet uh probably probably yeah um before we uh continue uh dairy queen and pier uh as i'm as we're uh doing that as we're taping this tomorrow they're uh donating 10 percent of their sales to uh heads or tails taco um which was a which is a uh a taco truck a food truck here in uh in pier uh they had a fire today um pretty bad fire from what i've heard um and a lot of the uh thing a lot of the uh truck was damaged so um uh yeah it's kind of neat to see uh you know businesses helping out other businesses so um give me some backstory because i haven't been in the area in a while okay um head to tails tacos have you been no it literally opened up last week and it 
already had fire issues. Yeah. That sucks. That's, te- yeah. that's, that's terrible luck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if I, if I end up back in that area anytime soon, I'm, I would love to check it out. I think I food would. trucks are I would awesome. Too. And I love, I love, you know, Hispanic food anyway. So um, I, I, there's one that comes up to the field house all the time that I've always wanted to go to. I've never have. It's called the Dakota Cuban. The Dakota um, Cuban. Yeah. It's like a bunch of Cuban sandwiches. Do you, have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. They're fantastic. So yeah, they're really, I haven't had one in a long time, but yeah, no. they're, they're really good um but yeah that's uh you know our little uh plug to uh go to dairy queen they do have a new pecan pie blizzard um as well as you know pumpkin pie a bunch of fall blizzard stuff they've got uh these new stack burgers that are pretty good stack burgers you say yes yes Hmm. i have not heard of these well it's basically the regular big uh regular burgers that they used to have but uh the meats like bigger i think and it's it's like it tastes way better honestly okay um not as uh greasy as it used to be oh right on so, yeah um gonna go to some uh wrestling talk a little bit here uh, Extreme Rules was this past weekend. I'm sure you probably didn't see it. I d- I did not. No, I was I was moving. Okay, moving some stuff. But um, there was a match at the end <laughs> that was one of the goofiest matches I've ever seen. Uh, you know who Finn Balor is? I'm I do know who Finn Balor is. Yeah. Well, he has that character, the demon, um, where he paints himself up and stuff. Uh-huh. And he was facing uh, Roman Reigns, and there was a moment at you know towards the end where you know he takes out the Usos. Uh, he's like down on the ground, and all of a sudden the uh, light turns off, and there's a heartbeat going on throughout the uh, arena. And every time the heartbeat happens, he's flopping around on the ground like a fish, like he's half alive and stuff. Okay, and he then uh gets up uh throws roman reigns into the uh into the uh ring gets to the top turnbuckle for his uh finishing maneuver and the rope breaks oh wow wow (laughs) yeah and uh so he lost so that was a, a weird uh weird way to end a match i've never seen that before Mm Hmm. yeah i don't think i have really either yeah um, at Crown Jewel, which is their blood money show in Saudi Arabia that I, I will probably not watch live because it's usually at like 1030 a.m. Yeah, it's not a convenient time for anybody. No. <laughs> um, so uh, Crown Jewel will be happening soon. Uh, we have Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg again. Uh, Goldberg on Raw told uh, Bobby Lashley he you know, he's going to hurt him, and if he's lucky, he might even kill him. My God. Yeah. You know, that, and that's all because uh, Bobby Lashley put uh, Goldberg's son in a full Nelson. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, there's a WWE draft uh, that's starting on Friday. You know, people are moving from brand to brand and stuff. Yeah, that, I, you know, I it's hard to keep track of everybody, and I, 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 I don't have cable anyway, so no. I have no idea where anybody is anymore. No, that that that's what you got me for. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Um, so that's happening. Uh, this is an interesting wrestling related story. Do you know what song is the number one song on the? iTunes metal charts. It's, and you said it's a pro wrestling thing? Yes. Um, is it time to play the game by Motorhead? No, it is uh, Adam Cole's AEW theme, All About the Boom. 
Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. When was the last time a wrestling theme song uh, was number one on any charts? Probably never. Unless yeah. you want to, unless you want to count uh, cult of personality, probably was. Ooh, maybe, but that's not. A, I mean, yeah, I'd be on a, some chart, some rock yeah. chart. Yeah. Uh, Manny Pacquiao announced his retirement. Uh, you think that's gonna stick? God, I hope so. He's old. Yeah, I know. He's he's an old dude for boxing still. He he apparently boxed in four different decades, so nineties, two thousands. 10s and 20s um he uh i think he won titles in eight different weight classes i saw yeah i mean he and like boxing is tough to keep up with because there's so many organizations like organizations wba w whatever a wbc um and and there's all you know there's the European championships and the French championships, and the, you know, the Asian championships and America's got their own thing. Mexico has their own thing. So like, yeah. And there's 900 weight classes. Mm-hmm. Figure it out. Uh, do you think he gets into politics in the Philippines? Yes. Because I mean, he pretty much already has been. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what, their system is but i know he's been involved in it um john jones got uh, arrested again oh my god my boy <laughs> my boy what, what are the you hell doing? what did he do i all i all i saw is he got arrested again it's it's real bad and i'll go into Jesus. details a little bit about it but this like i mean so he's gotten in trouble before yeah any mma fan anyone who's ever seen ufc within the last 10 10 years yeah. maybe knows who john jones is oh yeah definitely. arguably the greatest fighter ever of all time brother mm-hmm. of chandler jones on the uh, arizona cardinals never has never lost a fight got disqualified in one but i mean that was kind of a whack call um but he's had many issues with the law whether it's hit and runs um failed okay. drug tests yeah um when covid started i think it was when the if within the first week he got caught outside with like shooting guns at cars <laughs> not not with people in him just you know he's not he's not a psychopath he's just Jesus. an idiot but with this last one so he recently got inducted into the hall of fame and then that freaking night had a domestic uh, assault case um, filed against him. Turns out he was uh, beating his wife. What in the Greg Hardy bullshit is this? So the talk now is the UFC's probably going to keep him, but of course they are. They have Greg Hardy for God's sakes. Greg Hardy, but but I mean, Conor McGregor is bad about that too same but too, yeah they're they're money makers mm-hmm. and you know you can't sacrifice your cash cow but there is a, a potential for john jones not being legally allowed to fight oh wow so and i i think that's the way it should be the dude's a mess like he needs to grow up um he gets drunk too much he beats his wife he goes out and shoots cars he crashes them sometimes too like he's got to clean up his act with the with the drugs and alcohol and honestly yeah he's probably the best fighter we've ever seen but you can't let him you got to make sure he's okay as a person and that he learns as a person before he's okay as a fighter one thing i've noticed um you know, there's always been that talk of a potential John Jones Brock Lesnar fight. Uh, where do you think Brock Lesnar is now? He's in the WWE. He isn't coming back. Yeah, um, I, Brock Lesnar never will come back. No. Uh, that dude, after he pissed hot, like on three different uh, tests after that UFC 200 fight, mm-hmm. I, I lost a lot of respect for him. That. 
Here's an interesting thing. You know Brock Lesnar's your grandfather? Uh, I might have. Yeah, he he's a grandpa. He's uh, cause you you know Sable, his wife. Yeah. Well, Sable and Mark Miro, they had a kid like way back in the nineties, and uh, her, her, their kid had a kid, and you know with Sable and uh, Brock being married. You know, he's basically a step grandfather. Wow. So yeah. he's not really a grandfather. Well, it's not necessarily his grandkid per se, but just because you have a dog doesn't make you a dog mom. No. But I um on paper, yes, he's a grandpa. Yes. He's a grandpa. Uh did you watch are you you again you probably did not watch it, but did you at least hear about the Ryder Cup at all? Uh, I just briefly, I, I don't really watch golf. No. Um, but uh, Rory McIlroy crying on an interview. <laughs> uh, understandable. He seems to take the Ryder Cup way more seriously than anybody than else. Than anybody else, yeah. And he never, like, he's, he never wins it. Uh, the USA just mollywopped Europe. Uh, yeah. Bryce, Bryce. I Alicia. love that term, mollywopped. I've yeah. never heard that in my life. I I don't even know if that's a real word. I might have just I might have just made that up. I um, might have to write that down. Uh Bryson DeChambeau and uh Brooks Kepka hugged each other. It was weird. I was like, I don't want to like I don't want to like Bryson DeChambeau. I don't. But man, mm-hmm. can he hit a golf ball? Um, you know, I don't really know anything about him. I know he's a kind of a controversial character, but he's he's a big douchebag. Is he? Well, he he once had to uh, um, kind of have them stop a tournament because there was ants next to his ball. Oh, really? Yeah. He, huh. he he's a very big control freak. He he made like a seven minute long video in black and white of him just lounging about in his house like shirtless and working out and just being a just bona fide weirdo bona fide like, weirdo yeah sometimes i don't wear shirts in my house am i well, weird? i'm pretty weird well same <laughs> uh we have the return of the college football top five games uh, again this is in no particular order but we have number eight arkansas at number two georgia to start things off that could be good but i don't think it will be i think georgia's gonna smoke them yep same here uh but it could be good a rivalry i don't know if this is a one of the because in the big 10 it feels like there's a rival like for every rivalry there's a name for it you know um there's a little brown jug i think that's like minnesota and michigan maybe the big 10 has a bunch of weird dumb ones yeah um, but it's Michigan and Wisconsin this weekend. Okay. Okay. Um, Michigan's number 14. Wisconsin always plays tough in Camp Randall. Mm-hmm. So that should be interesting. Could be good. Uh, number seven, Cincinnati going into South Bend to play number nine, Notre Dame. I don't know how good Notre Dame is. I thought Wisconsin was good. Notre Dame beat them. Yeah. Um, and I don't think Cincinnati is that good. Not me uh, neither. And so, no, Notre Dame, I feel, is very fraudulent. Everybody that I've talked to about Notre Dame says they have a good quarterback, but that's it. it yeah. But I, they did enough to beat Wisconsin. And well, Wisconsin, I feel like, had a better rounded team. They barely beat Tulane, for God's sakes. Yeah. I Like, I don't, I don't know – how good this team is no um i feel like even though this is a ranked matchup this could be potentially be a blowout number 12 ole miss at number one alabama ole miss has a tendency to beat alabama i know when they're in those those big games so yeah don't be surprised to see the upset there they got lucky with florida yeah and that was luck they absolutely were dead to rights in that game but 
yeah, I could see Ole Miss taking this one. And then finally, uh, this might be the game of the week, honestly. Uh, number 21, Baylor at number 19, Oklahoma State. Uh, maybe, maybe. I, to be honest, I think I'm more interested in the Wisconsin – Michigan, Michigan game. yeah, uh, but it could be. I mean, that's a, that's a fun game. A, a little subplot to Michigan, Wisconsin that we didn't talk about. That's uh, Dave Portnoy School versus Big Cat School. So, oh really? Yeah, Dave Portnoy, Michigan man. Uh, Big Cat went to Wisconsin. So, um, yeah. So our NFL primetime matchups this week. You ready to talk about tomorrow's tomorrow's game? Well, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> we got the uh, Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars going into Cincinnati oh to play God. the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals. Yes. I dude, the Jaguars suck <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I mean, but they played better. They played they better. Did. They about, I mean, they didn't about, they ended up not being close, but they were beating Arizona for the majority of the game. They were up at halftime. Yeah. But they had, they had the the longest, they had the longest play in NFL history. Yeah. 106 yards, baby. Or 109 Uh, yards. 109. 109 yards. Yes. Yeah. Like, I mean, they're, they're showing signs of improvement, but I just, they suck. (laughs) Yep. Trevor Lawrence needs better protection. I think he needs better passing options. And I just don't know if they got what it takes to beat the Cincinnati Bagels. And who's not, I'm not impressed with either. I do like the uh, relationship between Jamar Chase and uh, Joe Burrow. I would look, I would look for uh, Jamar Chase to have, have a day, have a night. Do you have him in fantasy? No. No. I don't, but um, uh, well, fine. Inter- I would love for Trevor Lawrence to have a night. Interesting factoid about that 109 yard play. It actually ties the record for NFL longest play. Um, one of the uh, people that had that it shares the record with Antonio Cromartie, who set that uh, record in a game in the Metrodome against the Vikings. Do you know what's notable about that game? Other than that, um, no. That was the game that Adrian Peterson broke the uh, single game rushing record. Oh, 200, huh. 296 yards. Wow. Man, he was fun to watch. I get, and I think that might have been either his rookie year or his uh, second year. Um, yeah, sounds right. So the uh, Sunday night football game. It's the game that before the season started, I wrote down as my game of the year. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going into Foxborough to play the New England Patriots. Mm, I don't know. Is that really a game of the year? Well, storyline wise, it is. You you have you have Brady, you have Brady and Gronk returning to Foxborough. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have Tom, uh, uh, Bill Belichick coaching against Tom Brady for the first time ever. I mean, it'll be interesting to like kind of see how they are around each other, just because yeah. I don't, I don't know where that relationship is right now. Well, there's a book apparently that just got released um, that details the uh, Patriots dynasty, so to speak, uh-huh. and, and apparently Robert Kraft hates Bill Belichick. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the uh, Patriots owner, of course. Yep. Um, Monday night football. Robert Kraft is a douche, though. Yeah, he does like himself some massage parlors. Yeah, like, I mean, that guy's scummy, too. That's, he's not a very good judge of character. No. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Is he, is he like the heir to the uh, Kraft, Kraft singles? I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think okay. he is. Um, so Monday Night Football, it's the Las Vegas Raiders going into SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles to take on the Chargers. Fun game. The that is Raiders. going to be a great game. The Raiders look good. <laughs> and it's Ooh. like the Chargers play good in L.A. Mm-hmm. So 
Yeah, that's a fun game. Oh yeah. Um Derek Carr uh he's he's got to cool it with the mascara, I think. Guy liner. Guy liner or what or whatever he does with his eyes. I don't that's know That's just how is. he looks, Scotty. We don't but, profile here. I know. But um yeah. That's going to be an interesting matchup. Uh are you ready? I don't know if we should do this draft style. I think we should just say what ours is. We're, we're creating music festivals. You know, I was thinking about the same thing. Um, Cause I like, I'll be honest, this was tough. It was, I, I, and, I don't, I almost put the kibosh to this and almost sent you another idea. You could have. Cause like this, like, I mean, this was difficult. Yeah. And I put very little thought into it because I knew uh, even if I did, I it was going to think of something too. better. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, do you want me to go first with mine? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. So uh, the name. So it's name, location, sponsor, opening act, middle act, and headline. But I think we that's what we agreed on, right? Uh, I have location, name, opening act, middle act, headliner, sponsor. Yep. Okay. So this is the Scottapalooza. Scottapalooza. At, and it's presented by Scott's Toilet Paper. It will take place in the uh, amphitheater at Mount Rushmore. What? <laughs> uh, your opening act is Anthrax. You, you, you'll notice the theme, by the way. I mean, Anthrax, Scott Ian. Yep. Uh, your middle act is uh, Kid Cuddy. Hmm. Also named Scott. Yep. And your headliner is Creed. Scott Stapp. <laughs> so why did you Why did you pick Mount Rushmore? You because... could have picked Scottsdale, Arizona. Oh, fuck. God damn it. God damn it. Ah. Good one. <laughs> have you Good been one. to the amphitheater at Mount Rushmore since they redid it? No, it's I not haven't. that. It's not that big. It's where we hold graduation. So that's... yeah, I mean, it's not. It's not a huge place. Like I, I, I just went with that because it's where I graduated high school, and I would probably be like the MC. Mm. You think? Okay, I mean, I guess if we're creating the festival, it's yeah, it's kind of our thing. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, you. you like it was so hard to find uh, musicians with the name Scott. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's so many. Well, there is, but like Scott Weiland's dead, so I can't have him. Yeah, if we were gonna like take this seriously, I would have like established more yeah. rules. But and, and you know, Scotty McCreary, we we established you hate him. I don't care for Scotty McCreary. Scott, Scott Stapp, like what, what a, a fucking goofball! What a headliner! <laughs> <laughs> We're we we are totally making a joke of this. We, yeah, dude, mine is. I mean, mine's dumb too. So okay, <laughs> what's yours? Uh, I got the uh, inspiration uh, tonight. And my opening act is Kenny Chesney. Ooh. My middle act is All American Rejects. And my Ooh. headliner is Rob Zombie. Um, just because those were the three songs that came up on my Spotify. <laughs> it was also on shuffle mode. So that is the name. Uh, location is Ian's house. <laughs> and now, what's, now, which house? Are we talking? Are we talking? I was thinking Presho. I was just gonna. I was just gonna say you're uh, like in the yard. You, yeah. You, your your dad sets up a canopy. Yeah, for like he does for all the graduations. <laughs> I I thought that would be fun, and the sponsor is Hawaiian Punch because I always thought that would be fun. <laughs> I almost did a spit take. I wish you did. <laughs> oh my god. I like I like it. It's not as clever as yours. It's just really lazy. It's, just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
it's like <laughs> it's like that joke where <laughs> Brian Regan shows up oh, at, his, yeah. at the science fair. He's like, I got a cup of dirt. <laughs> Cause that was what he had in his yard. It's like, I was listening to music on the way home tonight. And I'm like, that's, that's, that's fine. Oh my God. I thought about having sunshine as my sponsor. Ooh. And I even wrote a little ad for it. Let's hear it. Are you tired of your canned beans getting cold? What happens when you put your pants on over your shoes? Do you ever wonder what it'd be like? If your dad was a manatee or your mom, a marsupial, <laughs> do you like it when the Los Angeles spark clubs get mally by the Pittsburgh silly nannies? Try sunshine, grab a pocket full of it at Natasha's bedding fields and beds. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I, I, that drew me as an alligator man. Oh my God. <laughs> but also me on TRT as an alligator man. That might need to be the thumbnail for this. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'll hold uh, it up a little bit longer so you get a clear look at it. But oh, there you yeah. go. Um, let's go to our uh, – we're, we're going to end this with uh, – let's, re- let's remember some bands since, since we're talking about music. I think we should make up fake sponsors every every week. But yes, like let's it. remember some band. I I, I can make. The I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. You, you can be the sponsor boy, and I can. I don't know why I said boy. I'm not the sponsor boy. Um, let's remember some bands. Uh, the first one that came to mind, uh, for some reason, I just was randomly. I don't know what kind of mood I was in today, but I decided to uh, look up some like songs I hadn't listened to in a while. And uh, I remembered him. Do you remember him? You sent me the the link today. I totally forgot about him. Um, yeah, not not a band I've thought about in in many many years. Uh, they're a Finnish band. Um, probably most known for their uh, relationship with Bam Margera. I think. Yep, I think that's right. Yeah, um, I think that song was from what like two thousand six uh Somewhere that around. sounds right it was like either it was a time when i was angsty so either yeah middle school or early high school yeah but i want to say middle school um the next band i have listed uh do you remember the bravery yes i do remember the bravery yes i they had a couple songs i really liked believe i think was my favorite yep, one believe uh great bass line time, time won't let me go that's yeah, that's one. the that's like the other song I know by them. Uh, honest mistake. I don't know if I know that one. Was an honest mistake. Um, cute as <laughs> I'm so honest. Cute is what we aim for. Boy, I mean, that's a yeah. That's oh, it's been a minute since I've even heard of that. Uh, they really only had one song that anybody has ever heard. Yeah, um, I mean, I couldn't tell you cur- any other songs. Curves. Yeah. Um, I was in a mood the other day, and uh, I remember taking back Sunday. Yeah, I doubt. Yeah, I mean that. I, they, so they're actually kind of active still sometimes. That they are. Yeah, my okay. buddy saw them live in concert last year. Um, Hawthorne Heights. But you're just naming emo band after emo band. Oh. I I know that you know this next band. This is my final band I have listed. What the hell is the story about Boxcar Racer? You know, Blink-182 would fight and they'd go do a side project for an album and then they'd come back and be Blink-182 again. So that was, was like... Was that DeLong and Barker? And Barker, yep. Okay. Not Hoppus. Like, plus no. 44 was hoppus and barker because everyone likes travis yeah like i read his book and everything well his his biography he didn't write it but everything about him i mean that guy got friends fans girls and like everywhere he went so everyone liked him wasn't there a rumor that he died for like like back in like 2010 yeah but that was because he just like wasn't 
he was busy with his like uh like a skate shoe shop in Los Angeles or somewhere. Well, well, there was that plane crash with DJ AM. Yeah, but I mean, everyone knew he didn't die from that. Oh, well, I Wait, thought what, everyone knew. Well, wasn't he on the plane? Yeah, he was on the plane. Okay, but they wheeled him out. Really? Yeah, I mean, like, and he was on fire, but. Um, do, you, do you have any bands that you wanted to remember? Uh, AFI. Oh, <laughs> ooh, a little Miss Murder. A little Miss Murder. Uh, a little bit Love Like Winter. Yep, that's the that's the one I another the other one I know. Um, I also have three hundred three, but I think they're also doing stuff now these days. Yeah, the last time I, I feel like the last time I heard them was like. They randomly popped up like five years ago. Oh, did they? Yeah. they. I don't know if it was a Katy Perry song or well, what that wasn't it was. new, was it? I thought that came out like when they were big. That might have came out when they were big, but there was one that came out. I swear it had to have been five years ago because it was like something about something about after death or something like that. It's possible. Yeah uh yeah i mean that was pretty much all i know i didn't i had a couple of emo bands you name so um so uh draft ideas because i've i've been i forgot about this um idea that i had most annoying tv commercials or most hated tv commercials or horror movie kills um i'm cool with with that i mean i don't know what the weather was there but today it was cool and rainy uh i think it's officially fall yeah we could do top five fall things Ooh, okay top five Um, fall things i like that I always like the uh, best songs of all time. Um, Didn't we say we were going to do that around Christmas? November, Thanksgiving, I think. Oh, Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, Yeah, we could do a number of those. Um, Okay. I thought I had a couple other ones too, but I'll tell you after the show if I can find them. Okay. Okay. um, you know, I, just, I thought you said you were going to do top horror kills with uh, someone that works at the field I, house. I, I thought we were, I thought that was final girls. Oh, that's what you're doing with her. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought we were. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm cool with whatever. Okay. Um, Thursday, I uh, get to, uh, or tomorrow, I guess I, I should say, uh, going to uh, Venom. I'll let you know how that oh, is. Oh yeah, you got to. Um, um, uh, Friday morning, I'm probably going to be watching uh, Many Saints of Newark. Um, okay. Yeah, which actually I wanted to get your take on this, even though I'm watching something now. Uh, what's the best horror TV show of all time? Horror TV show? Yes. Now the options that I was thinking of. Or, I mean, you have The Walking Dead. Is Walking Dead horror, or is it? I, I would. I feel cons- like I, it I would is. consider it. it. And if that's the case, I think that's the best. Unless um, I can think of something else. Oh, that, oh, that, yeah. oh, I'm. I can. I can think of something here. So we. Is it American Horror Story? That that was one, which I'm. I'm. I kind of want to watch that because I've never. I've only seen like the first episode of like the Horror House one. Yeah, like the first that- season. I don't watch much of that either. Okay. Um, I'm currently watching Creep Show, which that is looks, on, that looks freaky. Which is on Shutter. It's freaking great. Mm. So, um, the first episode, you have Tobin Bell as a cop, and you have the the doctor is played by Giancarlo Esposito, who is the. Uh, I forget what his name is in Breaking Bad. He's the uh, uh, guy who gets like chicken. Uh, the 
El Pollo Los yeah. Hermanos. Los Pollo Hermanos. Gus. Guy. Gus. Gus. Mm. Yeah, Gus Fring. Yeah. So they're uh they're in the first episode. I'm like, holy cow. That's quite a <laughs> quite an episode. Yeah. Um and then uh I mean, when you think horror TV show, it, uh, no discussion of horror TV show can be left without X-Files. Yeah, I guess so. I mean. And for that, and for that matter, uh, because I have a soft spot in my soul for a certain three named lady, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That was, I watched a lot of Buffy. Buffy yeah. was freaking awesome. Yeah. Um, it's borderline horror because it's like, it's, it's, yes, it's about vampires, but there's also like a teenage drama in there. Yeah, which is kind of like, I don't know where I sit quite with Supernatural either. That That's another one I forgot about. Because um, yeah. I feel like I like that more than The X-Files. Okay. But I do like the X-Files, but I don't know if I consider either of them really horror or more just like suspense. supernatural kind of. Which is yeah, I mean, I wasn't going to use that term cuz that's literally the name of one of the shows, yeah. but yeah. But it's like yeah. Uh did you see Haunting of Hill House? No. I did not. Okay, me me neither. Um I yeah, don't watch was... a lot of horror stuff by myself. Oh, okay. Um, I do have Tales from the Crypt, the entire, Ooh, I have yeah, the entire box set. Yeah, that was, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I'm Goosebumps, not, I'm, is Goosebumps horror? Yes. Okay. Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark? I think that's probably the best out of all three. Okay. Um, Tales from the Crypt second, probably Goosebumps third, but mm-hmm. that's up I for the date. I don't remember Are You Afraid of the Dark very well because I didn't have Nickelodeon. I didn't either, but I did watch it later. And it, it's okay. camp, it's campy, but they all oh, are. yeah. So uh I just feel like it was the least campy, maybe. Yeah. So I think that's why I liked it then, but I don't know if it's do you know what what we do in the shadows is? That's spoof. Is that I mean, spoof? That, that, that's comedy. Okay. I mean, I guess you could consider it horror because it's vampires, but yeah um that's uh is that taika watiti i think so yeah i'll be honest i haven't watched it i've been recommended it like four times and i just <laughs> haven't gotten into it yet um let me look at this uh list of uh tv shows here of course it takes me automatically to uh american horror story uh yeah. ooh. although i don't really consider this too much of horror have you ever seen the stand yeah it's a mini series i don't know if i'd call it a show for that reason no. but the stand is pretty damn good yes i haven't seen the new one i also don't know if the new ones came has came out yet but the one from the 90s was very yeah. good oh yeah um Continuing with this uh, horror TV show, I'm just I'm looking at the Rolling Stone list. Uh, Penny Dreadful, I've heard about that. I don't know what it is. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? it? No, it was weird. Okay. Um, it's on Netflix. It is. Yeah. Okay. And it's got Ava Green in it. Ooh. It a smoke show, but she's also kind of weird. Yeah, there was that. She's um, real weird in it. There was that one, uh, I think it was 300 two yeah. or whatever yeah. it was. The, like the second rise, three, rise, rise of the Empire. What, where she's in that and she's like, I hope you fight the way you fuck or something like that was line. And, well, I, and, I, and I remember watching that in the theaters. And I'm like, <laughs> just, just like loud laughter. It was pretty weird. You saying it. It felt more natural when she did. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, everything sounds weird out of my mouth. <laughs> pause um vampire <laughs> diaries is on this list i've seen one episode. i've never seen vampire diaries even even though it's 
one of the uh, shows that has uh, somebody named Ian in the cast. It does. It does. It's hard to consider anything that was ever on CW horror. True. Because it was like, for, for a minute there, it felt a little bit like Riverdale was almost horror. Yeah. Because it, was like, it was, had like a drama. Supernatural uh, suspense. Like... Yeah. Yeah, uh, if the main character is wearing guy liner, it's hard to be horror. I, I don't, I don't know if Twin Peaks really is horror. It's more, it's more of a mystery, and it's kind of a mind fuck. Yeah, I'd agree. Um, God damn it! What the hell is that name of that? Ooh, ooh! I do need to see this Ash versus Evil Dead. Oh yeah, I haven't watched it. I was on. I think it's on Netflix. I think it I think you're maybe right. It's, maybe it's Hulu, but it's on one of the ones that I have. Yep. Um Dark Shadows, I feel like I shouldn't watch because uh what's his name ruined it. Um Johnny Depp. Yep. True Blood, I was a big fan of for like two years. Man, I just don't watch TV, I guess. I now I haven't seen like any of these. Okay, so True Blood, um it's Anna Paquin obviously sure it's just more vampire shit yeah more vampire shit but um it also kind of gave us uh what's his name joe manganello that's like where he got his big uh big start on you mean it wasn't from spider-man well that too (laughs) as flash gordon yeah um i'm just keep i'm looking on in this um I don't know a whole lot. Oh, Stranger Things. Jesus Christ. I guess, yeah. Sort of horror. Yeah. <laughs> well, what yeah. did you think? How much of Stranger Things have you seen, by the way? All of it. Really? Yep, I love it. I, I saw the first season, um, and I got maybe a couple episodes into season two, and uh, that was about it. Um, really? Yeah, I I don't know why I stopped. I I like Steve. That's the only that's the one thing I can remember. Uh a little creeped out by Jonathan Byers. Not gonna lie. That's, what's uh, his, what's his name in I don't know who that is. N- that's the character. That's the uh, brother of uh of the kid that gets lost. What was his name? Will. Oh yeah. Will's brother. Yeah, Will's brother. I mean, he he goes to like these high school parties and he like takes photos of people and it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Scotty, you and I did not get invited to parties, so we don't know if that's weird that, or not. That's true. That's true. Have you seen uh, Fear of the Walking Dead? I didn't get into it. I watched the first oh. season of it, but they consider Black Mirror a horror TV show. Mm. Yeah, that goes back into the mind mind fuck category. Yeah, it's a, and they they do the same thing with True Detective. That's not a fucking horror TV show at all. I don't, I don't even know what that is. True Detective. With like I said, I don't watch TV. Okay, okay, okay. So the first season had Woody Harrelson, and um, uh, Matthew McConaughey as cops. Is Vince Vaughn the bad guy? That that's the second season. Okay, that's the second season. I heard it was good. I never saw it. I'm pretty sure that's the second season. It's like Vince Vaughn and Colin Farrell. Hmm. And I think the third season had Mahershala Ali in it. Um. Oh, Hannibal. I don't remember that at all. That was a TV show. Yeah, what? it was Mads Mikkelsen. Really? I never saw it. I heard the strain is good on FX. Ooh, okay. But yeah. So uh that's the show this week. Any uh closing thoughts? Uh not really. Go get a bottle of sunshine and uh put those pants on over your shoes. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming on, man.